Hello and welcome to the video. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to make a channel intro for your videos or your streams using Canva. Yes, it is another Canva tutorial brought by yours truly. <laughs> At this point, Canva should really just sponsor me. I've just been trying to make everyone use their program for everything. <laughs> but before I commence with a tutorial, let me just introduce myself. Hello, my name is Carol, and I make um, tutorial video stuffs and art tutorial things on YouTube, or at least I should probably get to that. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and start with the tutorial. Here we are in the familiar homepage of Canva. As always, we create a design and uh, pick the format, and we're going to do video because this is a channel intro. Therefore, it should be the size of the usual video, which is 1920 by 1080. After doing that, we will be brought here to the Canva canvas. And um, there are actually a few templates here that you can probably use if you're, um, you know, you don't want to think too hard and you just want something that's pre-made that you can like slightly customize to fit you more. I recommend checking it out yourself because that is not what this video is about. That being said, I actually did end up um, starting with a template. Um, you don't have to follow it this way. You can just start from scratch. It's just that uh, I was browsing through the templates and I ended up clicking one of them and I just sort of forgot that I was supposed to be starting everything from scratch. I'm sorry about that. But this is a pretty simple template in the first place. All it has is just this text and little uh, animating dots that sort of loop and a background and some animated sparkles. So yeah, if you do kind of like how this looks, you can just like slightly customize it to make it more your own. And you can probably do that with any other template that you might see that kind of fits the vibe you're going with. I recommend searching the templates for YouTube intros and a lot of templates will come out that already have animations and styles on them that you can choose from. But yeah, moving on, the first thing I did after already starting with a template is uh, putting an image. So you don't have to do this if you don't have the image. But if you're a VTuber, preferably you'd like some art to be able to put in your channel intro or your stream intro. I sort of did record the process of making um, the chibi. But uh, now that I think about it, just adding it would just extend the video and I just don't have much to say. And I also don't want to bore you and make you live the video because that's bad. Please don't leave. <laughs> you are still here, right? <laughs> I know you're not the type of person to just leave the video. That would be very rude. And you're not rude, are you? So yeah, I hope to make a chibi tutorial in the future. So please look forward to that. After adding the image, I changed the name to my channel name. Uh, if you're doing this for a stream loading screen, you can change it to stream loading or stream starting. I also quite like the little sparkle animation, so I decided to just keep that and duplicate it to just even out the art. And if you're not into the sparkles, there's definitely a lot more animated stuff that is free on Canva for you to use, so you can just check those out on your own. Next, I just chose a different background. I really like the gradient that came with the template, but I also felt like it was a bit bright. I thought that for the art of a sleeping chibi, it might match better with like a darker background or a more nighttime sky aesthetic. The next step that I did is my most hated part of the process, and that is um, picking the font. Uh, to be fair, the font that uh, was on the template was already a pretty good font that I like. But I just wanted to torture myself and look for the more perfect font. And I spent a bit more time on this than I'd like. As always, picking the font takes the longest time in my process. Once you're happy with the design and with how everything looks, it is time to do the animations for the intro slash loading screen. So doing the animation for an intro is very simple. I definitely recommend doing a page animation rather than animating the elements separately. When you animate the elements separately, usually they don't animate in the right order. After spending a lot of time trying to make the elements look right, I finally just tried the page animation and it looked much better. 
So I really just recommend trying out the different page animations and see which work best with the elements that are in your design. For the channel intro, you don't really need it to necessarily loop, so it just has to look good while the elements are animating. The page animation I used for my intro was Breathe. I just really liked how it looked and how the animation was slow and just really fit the vibe of the design. Now, for the stream loading screen, I don't recommend using page animations like we did for the channel intro because stream loading screens will loop and you don't want the elements to just be popping out repeatedly at the viewers. Instead, I recommend having only the text animation and just removing the page animation entirely. So I recommend the text animations that are in the category of simple writing and bold writing. Um, because preferably for your stream loading screen text animation, we would want it to be animated by character and not by word, because I'm assuming there's not a lot of words in the text that you're going to have in your stream loading. Um, okay, so I sort of messed up the recording order and I didn't want to re-record it again. So, uh, ta-da! I replaced the main chibi with this little animation I did for my Patreon tiers because I wanted to show that it's probably better if you have a pre-animated image or a GIF to put in your stream loading screen loop. If you don't have anything like that, there's a bunch of free animations that you can get from Canva elements that you can use instead, like these sparkles or those animating dots from the template earlier. All you have to do is uh, spend some time searching their catalog. So this is how the stream loading screen that I made looks when exported. Now I'm going to teach you very quickly how to apply it to OBS. So I am currently using OBS to record, so I'll be giving you the instructions using Streamlabs. It's not quite exactly the same as OBS, but in concept, everything is the same. <laughs> So what you're going to have to do is make a source, particularly a media source on either Streamlabs or OBS. If you don't know how to add a source in OBS, then you should Google that. Adding sources on OBS or Streamlabs is the very basic of using these programs. You can definitely find a lot of videos teaching you how to use Streamlabs and OBS. Just go look it up. Uh, it definitely exists. Before learning about how to make a channel intro and how to make a stream loading screen, you should really just probably learn how to use OBS and Streamlabs first. Yeah. Anyway, once you've added the media source, all you have to do is go to the properties and change the file that is linked to it. So here I'm going to link it to the MP4 file that we exported from Canva. And then we're just going to click loop. And ta-da! It doesn't really have any issues. It just looks like a continuous long video. And it's not that heavy either compared to like putting another video while you're streaming. This video is only five seconds long and it's very simple and it loops well. I don't know how Canva does it, but usually every single video that I've exported on Canva with a GIF usually is very loopable. I think they just um, end the video and the last frame that the GIF has looped. So it's just very smooth in my experience. And so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and hit that note of bell to get informed whenever I post a new video. Uh, tell me if you have any more ideas for videos that you want me to do. Uh, there are still some videos that are um, currently in my notes that I should get to, but I just don't have the time uh, to fully invest in them currently. But I will do my best to get better at editing and making videos. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching and for staying this long. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye.